Has she always been mute? Well, we've developed our own special shorthand since Deb signed on with us in the spring and she thinks you're a dirty old man. <laughs> She's right, of course. It's like she can read minds. She should perhaps have pity on such a broken old man. How is our subject? Our Adam. Adam has responded well to the first two rounds of the serum. Is that what you're still wanting to call it? A serum? I don't want any profile associated with what we're doing. I've got too much to lose. The pharmaceuticals would take the serum and make their own. And we both know that. Yes, we both know that. Adam is a different person. He's stronger, more vital. Why did you choose him? I suppose the boy's isolation was something I could relate to. He needed a hand. Now, keep me posted on today's examination. So like Led Zeppelin, of course, as everyone knows, by, they were one of the first, but by today's standards, their work is pretty tame. I mean, it, it's really tame, actually. But, I mean, the band you should see, the indulgences. That is the band you should hear, revolutionary. Hey, I, I have tickets. It's, you want to go? No, she does not. Well, like, let her tell me then, Doc. Is she your girlfriend or something? What do you think I'm going to do? Bite her? <laughs> You've got a taser. Cool. Maybe next time then. But you are missing out on a good show. Adam, have you been monitoring your insulin levels? It's like I told you, Doc. I'm cured. I have seen the light. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! think on this, but it's time we made this public. These tests we've been doing are, are unorthodox at best. We could be in so, so much trouble. <coughs> this climate does not suit me. I need a home that is much warmer. I'm, I'm sorry to make this an issue, Dr. Bolivar, but we need to do more tests on the serum, or whatever it is. I, I don't even know anymore. Doctor. What is this disease that's killing you? And does it matter? What name it has, there is no cure. My time, my time is short. Can 
you understand that? Yes. Yes, I understand. Bolivar. He bit his girlfriend. I didn't know he had a girlfriend. She phoned us. Deb took her to the hospital. Nothing serious, just tetanus shots. She didn't call the police. Deb's just taking her over to her mother's place. I couldn't have planned that better. What? What do you mean, Dr. Bolivar? Do you know what's on the dark side of the moon, Dr. Long? No, you don't. Hadrian's. That's what's on the dark side of the moon. I had a window seat. I watched my home planet of Hadrian destroyed by the alien race of silent ones. I tried to communicate with them, but they would not reply. Ten ships left Hadrian that night. Only one escaped to the safety of the dark side of your moon. And that's the story of Hadrian. I'm calling the police. <gasps> we did not have the equipment to manufacture the serum on the last of the Hadrian ships on the dark side of the moon. We have the ways and means to kill you like you are dying now. But with less than a thousand of us and billions and billions of you. So we decided on the zombie apocalypse. It really wasn't an idea we had. I saw it in the movies one night. Why? Why? You can't even stand yourselves. What are the chances you'd tolerate us? And once more, we need a much warmer, thicker atmosphere before we could ever call it home. <laughs> 